Hello viewers, it's me Destroyed Day, and as you can see, I am reviewing the Halo Mega Bloks Covenant Revenant Attack. Alright, so yeah, let's get to the review. Alright, this set comes with um, a bubble shield, crate, two deployable, or not deployable, covers uh cover, weapon, covenant, barrier thing, there we go, covenant barrier, um, a revenant, obviously, because it's the revenant attack, uh, three minute figures, and a bunch of weapons and accessories. Alright, so let's get to the actual set first, I guess. Yeah. So this is the Revenant. Let me do this, guys. Um, as you can see, it is pretty accurate to the game. Um, it's got a bunch of stickers. I don't really like stickers, but I don't really care that much. Well, uh, that sounded stupid, but I don't really like stickers, but that I won't take points off for that unless it's just like made out of stickers, just like one piece and then like everything else is sticker. <laughs> That'd be funny. Please don't do that, Mega Bloks. I would cry. Um, yeah, it's got moving like little fin things here. I don't know what they're called. They're like the Covenant vehicle thing. I don't know what to call it. Yeah, it's got those move like little handle things here move. Um, there's a little cannon. It moves up and down. Like if the Revenant was off, it'd be like that. And the Revenant's on. It's open like that. Only problem I have with this set, or not set, this uh, vehicle really, is the fact that it's very difficult to get the elites into the chairs. Um, you have to take the chairs out and put the elites in the exact way, otherwise it won't fit and it'll just break and it's done. Um, yeah, it's pretty cool. Um, yeah. Somebody should, like, comment and tell me how many times to say, um, during this video, because they're probably going to say it, like, 50 million times. Anyway, um, also comes with the bubble shield. Uh, this has one, two, three, four, five, six pieces in it, not counting like the little tiny connector pieces, which is the problem with this. I don't really like the bubble shield because it does not work very well because it falls apart kind of if you're not careful. Um, I don't like that it's in multiple pieces, but they couldn't do anything about that because it wouldn't fit in the box otherwise. So yeah, I guess it's pretty good considering what they're trying to do. I don't know. Anyway, um, comes with two barriers, covenant barriers, um, and a crate, like, a, you want to see weapons crate, you can put, like, accessories or weapons in, like, maybe, uh, excuse me, like an ordinance drop or something, just, like, ordinance, in battle, I don't think that was stupid, why did I say that, um, anyway, covenant barriers look pretty awesome, um, great for stop motions or dioramas, and, uh, this is, I don't know, it's a crate, I don't really, no, <laughs> Alright, so, for minifigures, it has three minifigures, a, you want to see Hazop Spartan, and two Covenant Elites. One is an Elite Ultra, and one's an Elite Minor. Let's go over the Spartan first. Um, as you can see, it's a Hazop. It's got the CBRN attachment, um, Grenader shoulder, uh, EVA shoulder, I think it's UBH, uh, UVA, or UH Obman, there we go, for a wrist. Uh, it's got UA base security for chest, a little health pack, tactical, or not, yeah, tactical health pack, or whatever it's called, for utility, FJ pair of knee guards, and yeah, and it's like, the color's like blue, gray, and red, and it's got a black wash over like most of its hands, like, stuff like that. It also comes with a, uh, for the armory feature, for whatever that new armory thing they're doing this year, comes with another ha helmet, Another Hazard helmet, it's the same thing, but it has a gold visor and it does not have the red secondary color. The same thing with the arms, except they have different shoulders and different uh, wrists. It doesn't have the Chopman wrist and it has CQC and JFO shoulders instead of Grenader and EVA. But yeah, it's pretty cool. Um, and this is also takes the red out of it, so you can make your Spartan like just blue and grayish, or blue, grayish, and red. It's up to you. Um, I'm actually, I thought the armory thing was going to be done with, uh, dumb when Mega Bloks first came out with it, but it's actually pretty cool. Um, like, you can change up your Spartans, like, to look different and stuff. I don't know, feel, feel dumb. Anyway, uh, here's the two elites. Um, this is not, not a new elite. The, it's the newer design for the Elite Miner, but it is not new. It's been out in multiple sets now. It is the Halo 3 Elite. Um, my camera quality is not that good, so you can't really see the details, but it's pretty cool. Looks pretty, like, amazingly accurate to the game, if you ask me. Much better. It looks much, much better than the old Elites. This is the first one of the new Wish designs of the minor Elites that I have, and I really like it. Um, and the other Elite is the Elite Ultra, which looks, I think, believe this is the first set that it's been in. It looks amazing. looks accurate to the game. 
Um, I'll go over the articulation on the Elite because the Elite and Spartan, all the articulations are all the same. It's so articulation in the neck, articulation in the shoulders, uh, wrist articulation, elbow articulation, waist articulation, thigh articulation, knee articulation, and that is it. Um, yeah. So, that's it for the figures. It comes with three, four-ish weapons, as you can say. The bubble shield, which is kind of a weapon, I don't know. Like equipment, it uh, does have like a little stand it detaches from. And that's completely gray. Like a darkish gray. Uh, comes with a UNSC SMG, which is a new model, and it fits great in the Spartan's hands. Uh, and that's completely black. And it comes with two covenant weapons, the needler and the plasma rifle. And I believe this is a brand new plasma rifle. It's not been in any sets yet, but I am not sure about that. And those are both completely purple. So, nothing really much wrong with the sets other than like, the bubble shield problems and the uh, serious problems with setting. But I'm going to give this a 4.5 out of 5. Only because of, like I said, the problems with the sitting with the bubble shield, I think, thing I could get over. Like, I don't think I would take off a half a point unless there was something else wrong. And there is the sitting and the revenue is a serious problem. Um, but this is a very accurate to the game set. I really think Megalox did a good job with this set, and I thought it was going to be horrible when I first heard about it. But, um, yeah, roughly, I think, 30 to $40, I don't remember which one is exactly. You get a pretty big set. Um, yeah, so thank you for watching my videos. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and make sure to tell me how many times I said um during this video. All right, bye.